Hi there, guys. Uh, I have something special today. <laughs> it's extremely hot in here for some reason. You know, summer is coming. It's one of these days uh, that start really nicely and it's warm and sunny and everything's fine. And then the hum humidity goes like, like it's it's not comfortable anymore. So, you know, it's really hot here inside. <laughs> so we just have to deal with it. But um, yeah, I got mail. Oh, this is so huge! <laughs> A huge box from Japan. The story behind this. Okay, I have this one uh, friend I met via Twitter. 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 I, I said that in a really strange way. Twitter. <laughs> so, we know each other for a while now and a few weeks ago I wanted to send him something. And I sent him a box full of um, finished goods and something I had sculpted in VR and then uh, 3D printed for him. <laughs> and he wanted to send me something back. And to be honest, the size of this box really, you know, <laughs> at the same time I'm really excited but also kind of horrified because this is like four times of the size, you know, size of the box I sent to him. So this is really something. But we all want to know what's inside. So let's get the opening. Let's start this one. I hope I didn't slice anything important here. <gasps> oh, I'm a G. I'm, a I, I'm so freaking excited about this. It's it's like another Christmas. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Jeez, let me remove this thing. I'm trying to... Oh god. Oh yeah, I can show you my <laughs> nickname right there. Let's... This tape. Oh. It has some cute little... Oh my god. There's some teapots and cats and... Rice and tea and... I don't, that must be Fuji Mountain, I guess. I'm not even sure what everything is, but I'll find out. Uh, there's mystery boxes here from A to um, E. I don't know if there's more in the bottom, but um, mystery boxes. But I think we have to open this ledger first, because it might say something about these mystery boxes. <gasps> okay. Okay, let's hop to the last page. P.S. I hope you enjoy these special selections of Japanese treats. Provided that it didn't get re destroyed in the customs, they are separated into little boxes, each following different themes. You can open them in any order. Have fun. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, it's the letter is it's not long, but it's something you know. If I start reading it, so you'd prob probably get bored and go away. So <laughs> I'll keep this to myself and let's start opening stuff. Cause I know that's that's you're here for to see what I got. <laughs> okay, uh, before I forgot to say. It, Thank you for the letter. It's thank you for your kind words. It's I truly appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, but yeah, um, let's get the opening. I think I think we have to go from A to E because um, if I do it in any other way, I would I would feel bad. But um, yeah, Mr. Box. Hey, do it yourself. Oh my god. Do it yourself. I just love everything. You know, 
Japanese do it yourself stuff. Fucking love it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. I hope I'm not too violent here. I'm <laughs> like stepping <laughs> vigorously. <laughs> oh god. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> oh. <gasps> okay. So, um. This is some kind of. I think it's. Yes, yeah, of course, do it yourself. Um, I think these are some kind of. I don't know if you can see, but um, candy pops. You know, um, the ones you mix and then you dip it, and then you have that bacteria <laughs> kind of thing. Like, like. yes, it's, it, it looks like a cute bacteria. You know, really close up <laughs> picture of cat <laughs> bacteria, but it's it's really cute. I love the colors. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, what else? What else do we have here? <gasps> oh, I've seen one of these somewhere. Um, I think I've seen videos of this. It's do-it-yourself sushi candy. Wow, I, I, I have to make videos about you know, making these candies, cause... Oh god, this is so cool! I was so excited about these kind of um, candy making uh, packs, or what are they called? Candy making kits. Uh, a few years ago, when um, I saw videos about these kind of things, and I found a few channels where they pretty much just make make candy bits, um, you know, create candy out of them, and there's something really calming, you know, and just something really cute about those kind of channels and these kind of kits. Something really soothing about these, like, um, weird kind of fun, but in a good way. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, put them right there. And then this. Oh, so what's in the box? Um, I think I should have opened it from the, you know, from the front. So I think I have to open this, you know, from the um, side, having a letter because <laughs> um, and it's going to make more sense when I see the stuff inside. But yeah, uh, it says do it yourself sushi candy kit. Uh, um, translated instruction is available at the website. Check the size of the box. Ah, yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and then, Nero, 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 Ne. We are doing yourself candy thing. <laughs> yeah. Nero, 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 Ne. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> it says right there. I just can't read it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it says overly. Complicated snacks. <laughs> the next thing, mystery box B, green. It says green on the front. You know, I love color green, but uh, let's see what it actually is. Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. What's in this box? Um, green tea pocky. Kinoko no gama. It's um. Mushroom Mountain chocolate biscuit green tea caramel. This is strange letter, but um, I'm going to say it's Mia Do Gombu. There is a sour sweet seaweed. Oh, I think we have some pretty similar snack they import in the to the Asian store nearby but um i think that's korea so this must be a little bit different green tea pocky and that is a huge box and uh, green tea pocky that's that's really something because um i've been wanting to try this 
this one, um, but <laughs> they they don't sell here. At least I haven't found the place that could, you know, provide this flavor. So I think this is gonna be really good. Okay, let's open the whole thing and then try to guess which is which. Uh, this must be Kinoko no Kama, chocolate biscuit. I am probably pronouncing everything, you know, <laughs> in a really offending way, but <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are the mushroom biscuits. Okay, this is the green tea caramel, I think, and the sour sweet seaweed. I don't know why I'm trying to, you know, read these things. Um, I still don't know the language that well. But of course, seaweed, when it's tried, it's it's really lightweight. It's you know, it doesn't weigh that much so I'm um, pretty comfortable to make that guess that this is the caramel and this is the seaweed but yeah I'm really looking forward to try this okay the box of mystery sea crown crown devil huh I wonder what that is okay this one was a little bit easier to open I don't know why the first one was so hot. Um, what's in this box? You are Garigo? You you are you 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 are you are Garigo? I hope I'm not raping your language. Potato crisp um tarako butter flavor. Oh tarako. Yeah, oh, okay, I, I know what that is. Yeah, fish eggs, yeah. Uh, Jagabi potato crisp. That is the bags. <gasps> Ooh, I think there's three different flavors of potato crisps: wasabi, uh, pickle plum, and butter and soy sauce. So, potato stuff. Potato stuff is good stuff, I think. Um, yeah. So, this is the cup. Oh my god, this is so cute. A little giraffe eating potatoes. <laughs> that is meta. Tarako butter flavor. Potato crisps. It's really so nice. Also, I would never guess, you know, without this pick, I would never guess, guess it's, um, you know, there's potatoes inside. Because. <laughs> with this pink um, pink package uh, I would guess there would be you know something probably strawberry flavored actually <laughs> so yeah this looks really promising Jagabi I'm quite probably uh, pronouncing it in a wrong way but so this is cute little guy um, I think he's, he might be wasabi bean, I'm not sure, let's see, uh, okay, he's in every one of these, so I think he's not wasabi bean, but he's some kind of cute mascot, he's so cute, so cute, so the pink was the pickled plum, and this is butter and soy sauce every one of them this, this looks so good um i'm not sure what what you know pickle plum is but um i think that's going to be something new <laughs> so oh i almost sliced myself i'm quite glad i didn't oh yeah it says here traditional so What's in this box? Four packs of yokan. That is agar chili. Pickled plums. Really sour. Be warned. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with sour stuff. Um, chinsko. That is biscuits from Okinawa. Nice. Two packs of Q 
Kinoko sticks that is soy powder and it says very strong stuff this is a really nice um, sakura thing I think happening right here I I also love the um, fact that we have newspaper pieces in Japanese I know it's a real weird thing but that that really makes everything so authentic in a way you know I know I sound like an idiot but um wow <laughs> these are the sticks um, so these are covered in soy powder I think I might give the other one to my brother because uh, I think he likes soy powder too so he he, he would really love this one um, and you know because there's two of those pickle plum and actually says a pickle plum <laughs> these are going to be really sour but we'll see I had some kind of sour things before so you, you know I think this is a challenge. Is it more sour that I can handle <laughs> or is it just the right amount of sourness? <laughs> okay, so this... Oh, okay. But first things first, I <laughs> was <laughs> I was going with this one. So um, these are the biscuits from Okinawa. There's, I think, three flavors. They look kind, look kind of different. There's this pink one right here. Um, the brown one in the middle and something that is really, you know, I would say that is biscuit color <laughs> inside. This package is really cute. I love the flowers and this looks really promising. This is the yokan or yokan, yokan, the agar jelly. Uh, and it says in here that brown ones are traditional. So these are the um, red bean flavor. You know, in this lighting you can't see, but it's a really pretty color. And here's the pink one. I love the pink of this. This looks so cute. Peachy, but it's plum flavor. So, um,. I think these are going to go really nicely with the biscuits. The box E, that is the last one. What's in this box? Dried squid. Oh my god! <laughs> Seriously? Is that something I wouldn't buy myself? But, um, but you know, now I have to try it. <laughs> Cooked baby horse mackerel. Shark jerky. What the hell? Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, fish paste jerky. Huh? I think that's gonna be quite smelly, but good. Dried seaweed. Oh, it's more kombu. Okay. The last thing here is pickle seaweed. That is a wakame. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a cute little drawing saying, I hope you like sea seafood yeah i do i love seafood Ooh. so this is the um, baby horse mackerel i'm definitely going to try this this is different the seaweed i'm not quite sure what this is this could be pretty much anything try to squid but isn't squid black Oh, yeah, this was dried seaweed. Yeah, right. Dried seaweed. So, but it, uh, yeah, these look like this. And yes, four of them. I'm not sure if this is the fish paste jerky or shark jerky. Huh. Okay, let's find out cute little packages of what I uh, pickled seaweed okay what's left all right this is definitely this shark jerky <laughs> i 
And it says danger in here. <laughs> it's not dangerous anymore. It's, it's dead and... You know, ready to eat. But this will probably be really, really good. This must be the dry squid. I don't know what squids look like, you know, inside. But that's the only one left, so... That must be the squid. I think and that will be really good with those seaweed things. Yeah, and then this is final. We'll be out here. Okay, let's see what this is. So, the final notes. This weird bird looking thing is Pokey or a city mascot. Designed by Ghibli because Hayao Miyazaki used to have his studio here. Studio has later become Ghibli Museum. I've been there once, fun place. Oh wow. I wish I could see it someday. It'd be so much fun. So that's the musket. This is a I don't know what this is in English. Pin? I guess so. It's cute. It's really cute. It looks like it's you know surprised. Oh it's this um microfiber glove that has Tokyo. <laughs> okay, but it's been a long and really special video today and I just, my final thoughts, there's so much good stuff. You know, uh, I'm really looking forward to try everything I haven't tried before and all the traditional stuff. I'm really excited to try them out. But uh, a huge thank you goes to my friend. I mean, I really appreciate it that you went through all this trouble to make me this amazing box of goods. Thank you so much. So that's all for now. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!